This movie examines the safety and value of field sterility versus full sterility for hand surgery. In 2007, this paper was published in the journal Hand that showed that more than 70% of Canadian carpal tunnels were performed like this in minor procedure rooms outside the main operating room with field sterility. In 2015, that number is likely more than 90%. Field sterility means four towels, a mask, and sterile gloves, as is done for routine skin cancer excision. Because there's no tourniquet and only lidocaine with epinephrine is used for local anesthesia and hemostasis in the hand, no sedation is required. Because no sedation is required, it's easy to move these procedures out of the operating room. We get the same excellent outcomes at much less cost and at much more patient convenience. They simply come in as when they go to the dentist, roll up their sleeve, have their surgery, get up and go home. There's no need for them to get undressed or be processed through the very expensive main operating room system with all of the costs that that involves. This can all be done with one nurse and one surgeon. So what evidence is there that this large Canadian experience with field sterility for hand surgery is safe? This paper was published in 2011 in the journal Hand in which 1,504 consecutive cases of carpal tunnel surgery were very carefully followed by six surgeons in five cities in both Canada and the United States. There were only six infections in all of those cases, all of them superficial. Four of the patients only had oral antibiotics for treatment. Two got no antibiotics, simple suture removal. There were no cases of deep space infection requiring incision and drainage. There were no patients who needed intravenous antibiotics. This very safe infection rate was 0.39%. Mohs surgery means skin cancer excision by dermatologists with properly done frozen sections for excellent cure rate. The standard of care for Mohs surgery in all hospitals in Canada and the United States is field sterility. In this prospective study of 20,000 field sterility cases, the infection rate was 0.37%, which is almost identical to the carpal tunnel study just described. The problem with most of our practices around operative sterility is that most of it is based on custom, not on evidence. Most of it's based on, well, if some sterility is good, more must be better. But how much is necessary? We use far less than field sterility for the millions of blood drawing procedures and insertions of IVs that are done every day. We don't even put a drape on the site in the skin where we're putting a plastic catheter through germ-containing skin into a vein that's a direct line to the heart when we insert intravenous catheters. And we're going to leave that intravenous plastic line there for a few days in many cases. All lacerations in emergency departments have been closed with field sterility for many years in wounds that were never prepped and draped. Infections do occur in these settings, but are relatively easy to treat at relatively little expense. Unlike in a total knee and total hip replacement situation, where an infection is disastrous for a patient in terms of time and cost, the patient also risks the inability to walk. The cost for health care to treat these infections is massive. In these situations, it's perfectly appropriate to have sterility to the maximum. So if more sterility is always better than less sterility, should we have this much sterility to draw blood or start an intravenous or repair a laceration in the emergency department? Of course not. We need to look at the cost of infection in a reasonable way. How much does the sterility cost and how much does the infection cost both in terms of money and in terms of patient harm when infection happens? Infection after carpal tunnel surgery is rare and usually responds very well to simple oral antibiotic treatment without great harm to the patient, unlike the knee replacement scenario. 
it becomes much less reasonable to invest billions of dollars of sterility for a problem that essentially costs very little. 3% of North Americans have carpal tunnel syndrome. This paper showed that in Canada we can perform twice as many carpal tunnels in the same amount of time with field sterility in minor procedure rooms than in the main operating room. It also costs only one quarter as much to do it with field sterility as opposed to full operating room sterility, even without the anesthesiology component. Dr. Carolyn Kerrigan published similar findings in the United States. For many years, these cities and others have managed most hand fractures, tendon injuries, and other hand trauma in the minor procedure rooms in the clinic with field sterility instead of in the main operating room. For most of us, these procedures are performed Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. In Calgary, they have dedicated clinic rooms on weekends for field sterility management of hand trauma. These patients don't need to be admitted to wait for surgery. Our reduction in health care cost for managing these problems is massive. In some situations, such as extensive flexor tendon repair or opening finger fractures where we need more sterility, we use this type of enhanced field sterility to decrease our risk of infection. We also import enhanced field sterility to the emergency department on occasion if the situation seems reasonable. There's no rule that says that you can't be more sterile outside the main operating room. Doing hand trauma during the day is not only much cheaper in terms of cost of health care, but it's also better for patient care. There's no question that patients are going to get a better result if we repair a flexor tendon at 2 in the afternoon when we're rested than if we do it at 2 in the morning when everyone is tired. If surgeons are up at night looking after patients, the next day the patients that they see are getting a tired surgeon to look after them. All of those patients could be getting better care. This is the amount of garbage produced by a carpal tunnel to be done in the main operating room on the left side of the screen and in the minor procedure room with field sterility on the right side of the screen. We only live on one planet. If we are not part of the solution, we're part of the problem. We can work together with creativity and with evidence to make this better.